everybody, welcome to episode number 373 of It'll Be Fine. I'm your friend and your pal, Kelly Zemnikas. And as we do each week on the show, along with my guest, we dive into a dish that neither of us has ever made before, but we go forward with the confidence that it is going to be fine. And on today's show, can you figure out what we're making there? Van Bear uh, Bazcus. It's vanilla berry basil custard. You knew that. Of course you did. Um, I am baking. Well, it's kind of a no-bake bake today, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm baking alongside my guest, who is here for her very first appearance on the show. I'm so glad she is here. She's days away from recording her debut comedy album with Howl and Roar Records. So my label mate, fellow comic, and really, really cool gal, Tracy Hamilton, is on the show today. She is on her way up, and we're about to get started on this. Never made custard before. Hopefully this goes okay. Or fine. It's, it's the name of the show. So. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right. Here's what you will need for today's No Bake Bake. Extra virgin olive oil, store-bought or homemade jam. We're going with strawberry, which actually is in the book. So strawberry, there we go. Vanilla extract, always go with the most natural extract you can. Nothing too artificial, it just tastes better. Basil, berries. Now we're doing a mixed berry, but if you have a favorite, you just wanna stick with strawberry, that's cool too. We'll need coconut milk. You're going to need coconut sugar. Now, I use it all the time, but this one actually calls for it. Yay. And finally, you need something called Egger Egger, which does sound like a punk band from the 80s. Um, I don't have it, but a substitution for it is what I have, arrowroot powder, or you can go with cornstarch. I should look to see if you can still talk like a pirate on Facebook because it was Maybe. fun to like yar. A it was funny. <laughs> I gotta ask. Now you've done one thing I've not done, which is get married. I did. Which is more stressful, planning a wedding or planning your comedy album? <laughs> album, <100% laughs> album. <laughs> Absolutely the comedy album. Although we had like we had a very low stress wedding. That's the best. So we did like we did a yeah. really tiny wedding, like just nine people. Um, That's perfect. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, the secret is get married during a pandemic. Um, yes. <laughs> you barely have to invite anybody. Uh, we had other guests attending over Zoom, but cool. Uh, in a terrible live feed that we didn't like have mics or anything, so they couldn't hear anything, but they could see it. They got to watch as I dropped his ring in the grass next to the hill, um, and uh, was very scared I was going to roll away, and I was going to. <laughs> my own wedding, but everything was fine. Uh, but yeah, we just had really, really tiny, really yeah. tiny wedding. That's so funny. I didn't intend to bring this up, but I'm going to. Uh, back in a previous life, I used to do commentary on TMZ Live. Oh yeah. And I remember one day I was supposed to do a story, and they cut into a Vegas wedding. It was one of the Jonas Brothers, oh. who recently got divorced. <laughs> Joe. I technically went to his wedding because I really watched funny. it with the TMC crew. <laughs> That'd be good. Where can folks find you on social so they can go to the album recording or yeah. get it when it comes out or see Absolutely. you live? Or... Um, so on social media, on everything, I'm at Hamiltrace, um, H-A-M-I-L-T-R-A-C-E. Mm -hmm. um, my website is TracyHamilton.net. Dot com is taken. Oh, uh, but <laughs> it's, okay. <laughs> it's okay. I think dot .net has a certain quiet dignity about oh, it. it. Yeah, that's right. It makes me feel like a business. Uh, <laughs> so you can visit tracyhamilton.net, and that's where you can find all of my upcoming shows and stuff. So if Super you wanted cool. to get tickets to my album recording, all of that is linked also in the link tree in my bio and in my socials and things yeah. like that. But there you go. Or just scroll down into the YouTube show description under her name. And it's it's there too. Also there is a link to the recipe we're using today. Yay! Uh, this is a book I've used often on the show by Gregory Gourdet. He was a contestant on Top Chef. Probably my favorite reality 
show. I love, love, love Top Chef. And if all goes according to plan, uh, Tracy and I will be making this look like this. We're making this, but whether it will look like this, <laughs> totally other story. We've got everything ready. We are good to go. This is a no bake bake today. We're just gonna do a little bit on the stove top. We're gonna be using the blender off to the side and then our friend the fridge. So this is easy. It's good. And it's fucking cold outside at the time where we, we are recording this. So we're gonna go off to a little tropical getaway. And yes. Make some to the land of custard. custard. Yeah, with our friends Basil and Barry. Love. It sounds like a kid show. <laughs> Basil and Barry. Okay. They would be a <laughs> kid's character. Scott, this. We're making a children's show instead. Cool. I also do this when I bake along. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> but yes, my mise en place. Everything all ready to go. All right. Okay. If you want to put the lid on that. And pick a number, any number. Just any number. <laughs> We're just blending. Okay, it doesn't say which for one. For one second, I didn't see the ones at the bottom, and I was like, "Why does your blender start at seven? <laughs> um, but <laughs> I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick a three, okay. and then we'll assess from there. We'll see. Want right to put that in? Should just I put it in the little guy, or should I? I'm just gonna put it in the off? hat. Put it in the hat. Let's put it in. Yeah. And then you're gonna blend that. And I'm just pouring it. In. That is correct. Yeah. It sounds a lot better this time. It does. It's <laughs> much less chunky. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a milkshake. It does really look like a milkshake. It All looks right. like it, it's kind of that sort of French vanilla color. That like kind of yellow. It really does. This this looks so oh this can be good. I have I have confidence oh, that yes. it really does smell good. Mm. It's because I use natural <laughs> vanilla extract. That's key. Yeah. I mean, the artificial stuff, definitely easier to find, more frequent, but it just tastes better. Or if you have like the bean, if, if you can afford that, invite us over. Yes, please. <laughs> or sponsor our next albums. <laughs> that would be great. It's too expensive. Everything's too expensive. <laughs> Agreed. I didn't fail to grow herbs many times. It's tricky. They're really the herbs are tricky. High maintenance. Why are they yeah. so high maintenance? We've had so many basil plants, um, and oh, I'm <laughs> with you. Had yeah. and lost so many basil yeah. plants. <laughs> um, and uh, we tried growing rosemary, Ooh. and uh, thyme. Okay. And uh, I did else? edible lavender once. Oh, nice. It's a specific, a specific version of a lab. You can't mm. eat every lavender plant, but some of them you can't. I did that once, and that was good to like make little like yeah. dried sacks to put in the closet. Totally. Stuff. So love lavender. Yeah, it's not burning. All right, this front burner is is a slow one. That's um, fine. It gave up about a year ago. That's okay. <laughs> it's like I've done enough. <laughs> so there he is. All right, so that's gonna come to a boil, um, and then once that's done. This recommends plating it in a cereal bowl, but as you just mentioned, with all the little mise en place, we're gonna put them in here. Adorable. I got these, and then I bought uh, these Debbie Travers. Very cute. Canadian, Canada's Martha Stewart. I don't know what's happened to her in years since. She was on everywhere, and then just, I should look her up. Did you find out? I, I, swear. Care. I don't think I'd even, Whoa. oh no. If you don't look carefully, that just exploded. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear lord. <laughs> uh, this will, it'll flow. I think we'll just change the name of the show to, yeah, yeah. what the fuck? I'm just gonna, just gonna. <laughs> I want to apologize to the viewers who... We were just blissfully having a conversation, and you were probably so stressed watching that situation developing, um, and <laughs> completely powerless to get us to do anything about it. So we're really sorry about that. You're knocking on really your computer sorry. like, hey, <laughs> Kelly and Tracy, look. <laughs> sorry. Oh, well, sorry, but... happy new year, everybody. <laughs> um, <laughs> that sort of is what Times Square feels like. Yeah, I if you've never been there. Really... It's... No interest in either. There's going a better to places. Times Square. I, I, it's fun, but but dip your toe in and then go somewhere. Else. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> I went to Piccadilly Circus. 
Oh yeah. Um, last month. Okay. Uh, just very great. like that. It, yeah. <laughs> It was just sort of like, walk by, and I was like, oh, cool, a British Dundas Square. Bye. <laughs> and then I left. All right. So what we're going to do is pour this in to our things. All right. So. All right, how, okay. How good are we going to be at pouring this? Because I, I have a tremor. I would probably, I would probably label it. That, yeah. That's probably best. That's, that okay. would be my. I like my. Uh, like your way of but yeah. <laughs> People at home, you have no idea what this is. But I'm like, I can do it. All right, and then I'm going to, I think I, um, I want to say I think I can pour this in. I think I can. I, yeah, okay, yeah. I, I could even do it. Okay, if you want to do I'm that. I'm going to use my, like, previous barista skills. Oh, do it. Yeah. Okay, Tracy's going to Because really, it's gonna the, switch. I'm, I'm, I think, are, are we done with the label? Yeah, okay. I think so, yeah. This looks so good, though, everybody. Look okay, like... I don't know that I'm going to nail this, but um, I used to, people would have a for here cup. Oh, their yeah. coffee and they'd be like I have to run can you, you put this in a to-go cup and I learned that the secret is just to commit just no fear yeah just go just for no it. fear just do it so oh yeah there you go <laughs> that's the money shot there you go okay so we got this we can do this um I realized I said all that and I didn't hear that's okay. <laughs> I did that once with a tasting on the show. It's only happened once. It's time. Yay! Buzz, buzz, it's time. But I forgot. I ate it and I didn't record my reaction. Okay, so to the fridge. Don't put it in the freezer. If you want to just expedite it, don't. Just put it in the fridge. Uh, 30 just minutes to an hour. Just, exactly. Why are you in such a rush? Hey, everybody. So we have, we have two minutes left. Um, despite what we just said, um, we put it in the freezer because Tracy and I have made uh, soup. Yeah, it, it's a lovely, a lovely it's, soup. It's going to be a cold. It's a gazpacho. Yeah, we have made a dessert gazpacho. That's so right. I'll change the title card of the show. But you've got the mason jar, so we have agreed that in a dare show, uh, Tracy can send a video. Yeah. Know. I will provide updates yeah. on the status of the soup. <laughs> but and if it has decided to firm or not. Um, we're not sure if You can bring in Howie Mandel and do like a deal or no deal. Absolutely. Firm or not firm. Soup or not soup. <laughs> soup. It's, it's soup. soup with the ring. It, has it is. Ring that's yeah. Up. It's you know how you know how like it, a tomato soup, if you don't stir it, will have like kind of a fill. It's got a filter on the top. So it has fun. that. All right, so um, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead. Uh, we're just yeah, gonna we're just gonna on. we're gonna we're gonna do our best. Uh, so it says to do put on. So we've got we've got our friend uh, we've got our friend strawberry jam, um, and we have the berries. And we have the basil. And we have the olive oil. We're going to put this together. Yep. And try cold soup. It's going to be fine, Tracy. It's going to be great. It's, I, yeah, no. It's going to be A-OK. -okay. It's going to be so good. It's, <laughs> if we keep telling ourselves this, it okay. will be. It all just sinks. But it's going to be fine. It's, it's going to be fine. It's going to look pretty. We're going to take some basil. And we're going to make it look pretty. It's all in the look everyone and it says a little bit of olive oil and it says to serve right away that looks pretty it you know what it does you know look what? pretty it does. It's, it's, so soupy. it's so soupy it's so, it's so soupy it's good mm. there's a it's a good soup it's a good soup. It's a good soup. And the basil is nice. It actually tastes really good. It tastes good. It's totally not custard. It's absolutely under no, no circumstances a custard. No. We aren't legally allowed to call this a custard. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but this is good. It's a good it's berry. It's a good berry basil soup. I will say this is very flavorful. Very refreshing. Yes. This would be all. This also feels like summer. Yeah, it feels summery. Um, so I'm ha I'm happy with it. The best part for me was watching the jam 
just completely disappear. It was the first one in the soup. And it just sunk immediately to the bottom. You would never know that it was there. And it's the one part that I didn't get on film, which is so disappointing. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this was a shallow bowl. And, or a plate. Um, or a plate. I but this is the you can see the jam yeah, sitting, sitting atop. On top. Ours, um, rest in peace. Ours doesn't have a top. No, ours is the Leo on the ice in Titanic. It just, just, there's no room. There's no the iceberg. Oh, well. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. everybody so it's been a couple of days since Tracy was here I just want to show you what this looks like so it was really soupy we it was soup it was soup um, it's not as soupy taste test take two um it's thicker okay I mean, granted, there's a strawberry right here, but it's not dripping off the spoon. Plus, okay. It's still an amazing flavor. It's not as liquidy, but the consistency has changed. So now I'd say it went from being a soup, a gazpacho, to like a porridge. So progress, friends. Progress.